What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So I haven't vlogged this past week because we've been getting over a sickness. It's just been swapping uh, from family member to family member. It started off with Brady, which he is a T-Rex right now. Show everyone your T-Rex costume. Oh, oh yeah, and then Shelby got the sickness, and then Kenley, and then now I'm just now getting over it. Now it's just a sore throat for me and Shelby, but for Brady and Kenley, they had a real bad stopped up nose, and we've been lacking in sleep because of that, because they both suck passy, so they've been waking up in the middle of the night constantly. So something else we've been really sick about is our investment. So me and Shelby just decided to get in the stock market just about maybe three days ago, and we lost in just two days $2,700. What do you feel about that? How do I feel? <laughs> what kind of advice do you have for people <laughs> wanting to invest? Don't, Don't get in on invest. trends. Don't invest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get on, on Don't the trend. Don't invest in trends just because. So it's check out stupid. this graph that it's Shelby stupid. has on her phone because this would just make you sick. So we bought here at the peak right there and then we sold way down here for how much of a loss? 54%. 54% in two days. So don't get investing advice from me and Shelby. That yeah, is for absolutely. sure. And I found out that Shelby is just not one to invest because she is just a very nervous wreck. Not in a volatile stock. <laughs> like I need a low, like a low yield long term. That's what I need. She has been like just very, very stressed out these past few days and stuff. Yes, it sucks to lose $2,700, let me tell you, but I'm not near as stressed out as she is. About anything in life. About anything in life. I'm very calm and stuff. She's all the time just high strung. <laughs> But we're gonna make it through it. I know for a lot of people that invest, $2,700 is hardly nothing. But for someone that has never invested, that's a very bad uh, percent-wise to lose for your very first stock. That is for, for sure. Stock. For any stock. <laughs> so I got a package back here that was just delivered. And this probably came at the worst time because we're in a pretty bad mood today because of the loss we just uh, sold about an hour ago. But I'm gonna show you what I got in this package because that it's pretty exciting. All right, let's open up the box, see what we got. So this is a late, what gift? I don't even know. Father's Day? No, that was the chair. Birthday, Valentine's, I don't sure. know. So we've been having- um, There's an IOU situation going on. Yeah, for a while. And this while. is the last one that I owe Abel. <laughs> Actually not. It is so. No, it's not, we just, we discussed that yes. we have one more. What? Yeah. We're gonna talk off camera <laughs> about this. So check it out. Something that Shelby has been trying to find for how many months? Since your birthday. Since my birthday in February because they've been out of stock everywhere. Oh. The PlayStation 5. Oh my goodness, yes. This is gonna change my life. Man, mine. <laughs> Shelby's never gonna see me ever again, that's for sure. And I was determined, or she was determined too, that I'm not gonna spend like $800 because you can get them for around $800 and stuff because people will jack up the prices on them, but we wanted the market value for it. We finally got one about a month ago and it just now came in. Oh my gosh, check how big the PlayStation 5 is. <laughs> it's like a huge Wi-Fi router. <laughs> thing is massive. <laughs> I cannot believe how big these were. At first when the Xboxes came out, everyone was like making fun of the Xbox for how big it looked. And then the PlayStation was announced and it's like so much bigger than the Xbox. The if Xbox you drop like a little that, mini. Holding it with one hand. The Xbox looks like a little mini fridge, <laughs> but this baby looks like a Wi-Fi router. I'm not gonna drop it. Abel. <laughs> <laughs> My baby. Uh, that's nice. USB cable and press the PS button. Ooh. Press the cross button. English, United States. So I went upstairs and installed the PlayStation. It's gonna take all day long for that thing to update. So now we're downstairs eating some lunch. I got me a chicken sandwich. Kenley's eating some avocado. I'll lean back in her chair. She is so messy. Oh my goodness. Brady is eating. What are you eating? A peanut and a peanut butter and raisin sandwich. No, egg on. Oh, the raisins are gone? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it's gone. Good, good, good. And after eating this, I'll probably go to the gym in about 40 minutes. 
So now I'm all ready to go to the gym. It is 4.30, a little bit later than what I typically go to. I don't like going around this time because it gets busier and recently I've been filming all my workouts so it takes me a lot longer to uh, complete my workouts but whatever, I still gotta go in there and kill this workout. Now, I'm gonna be working back and I'm not gonna show you guys this workout because my last YouTube video was a back workout so I'm gonna record tomorrow's workout and put that workout with this video. So I got my uh, pre-workout by Muscle Tech, the Shatter Elite. I take a scoop of this and then I start sipping on it when I drive to the gym. I don't sip on it now because it always kicks in in about 10 minutes and the drive is about 15 to 20 minutes depending on traffic and I don't want to have a road rage. So check out what we got in the mail the other day. We are on the cover of our neighborhood magazine. Pretty awesome photo of all of us looking in his face and Brady's just cheesing it up. So every month our neighborhood puts on a magazine and it just talks about different families in the neighborhood and we got featured in this one. And when you open it up here we have another three pages. So we have the family photo, we have Brady, me and Shelby, and on the end here we have Kinley. So this is just a bio of our family talking about what we like to do and stuff. And then you turn the page, we have Shelby and the kids, and me and Kinley. So it's pretty awesome. This is just like what's going on in the neighborhood, giving details about our life and stuff, what we like to do. And it's pretty neat being on the cover. What's up everyone, welcome back to another workout. So let's go ahead and get started with this shoulder workout. So the very first exercise is seated barbell shoulder press. I did five sets of eight to 10 reps on the last set did a double drop set. Now, as you can see, I'm using a band and what that helps with is if you have shoulder pain. So down at the bottom of the movement, it's the lightest and then as you push that bar up, it gets heavier. A lot of times the pain is at the bottom of that movement. So you're able to lift really heavy still at the top of that movement, but down at the bottom, it's the lightest. So if you have shoulder pain, give this a try. After that, went with a trap bar seated shoulder press. I know a lot of y'all probably have never seen this exercise before, and if your gym does not have a trap bar, you can use dumbbells or you can use a machine. Anything with a neutral grip is totally fine. I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. After that, went with dumbbell side raises. I did five sets of 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. Now doing laterals, I always switch it up. Sometimes I'll do them seated, sometimes I'll do them standing. Uh, it just really depends on what I'm feeling that day and what I did not do uh, the week prior. So this day I did them standing and as you can see, I have a slight bend in my elbows. So when you go heavy with dumbbell side raises, you're going to have a slight bend, but I'm trying to keep my arms as straight as possible. After that went into another side raise, I did a leaning cable single arm side raise. I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps on each arm and on the last set did a double drop set. So what I mean by leaning, I am literally holding on to that cable apparatus and I'm leaning out. So what that does is keep tension throughout the whole range of motion because if you use a dumbbell, you lose tension when you go down. But with a cable, it's gonna keep tension throughout the whole range. So after that, went into a single arm bent over reverse fly with the cable. I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps and the last set did a single drop set. After that, went with a combination for the last exercise, a cable front raise, kinda like an upright row. So you'll see here in a second what I'm talking about. So when I go up, the cable is going in front of me a lot, so that's the front raise, but my elbows are going up first. So it's like a combination of a front raise built with an upright row. So I did five sets of 10 to 12 reps on the last set, just did a single drop set. Now after that, I finished off on some abs. I did a superset, I did four rounds. I did hanging leg raises for 15 to 20 reps and I superset that with the ab wheel. And I only rested for around 45 seconds in between those sets just to burn out my abs. I do abs just about every other day and I'll pick like maybe two to three exercises and I'll do that superset fashion. Now twice a week, I do a full ab workout which will be around probably five to six exercises. But every other day, Day, I will always do at least two to three exercises just to make sure I'm focusing on my abs and really trying to build my core. Now, I've always been a big believer in working abs just like any other muscle group, meaning working them hard because a lot of the people think that you know you don't have to work them that much. You can uh, just deadlift and squat and that will build up your abs just as much. That is not true. If you want well-developed abs, you're going to have to work them. So that's the end of the workout, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video.
So I just made it home from the gym and I normally take a protein powder right after working out, but because it is so late, we need to eat dinner. And so I'm gonna get all my protein from chicken. So I am gonna take some creatine because I still gotta get my creatine in and I'm gonna take the CellTech Hyperbuild by MuscleTech. Now I wanna show you a new product that MuscleTech is coming out November 1st. So when you're watching this video, it should be out. It is called Whey Plus Muscle Builder. This is gonna be at all US Walmart. So it's a protein powder with three grams of creatine in it. So you don't have have to add creatine you can just take a scoop of this and this is 30 grams of protein per scoop so this is going to be amazing product if you want to check it out there's going to be a link down in the description box so click that and check out this november 1st so tonight we're having mexican salads right yes what is in mexican salads tell everyone um jasmine rice black beans corn iceberg lettuce chicken avocado salsa and ranch and ranch so yep that's gonna be dinner so shelby is getting prepared for kenley's first birthday and she has started to practice on cake so she is gonna make kenley's cake and this was a k until brady broke into it yesterday so she's gonna do this what a couple more times you think to master it so it's a cookie cake and she has flowers all over it it turned out pretty good for her first time but like she said she's gonna do it maybe a couple more times so we're gonna be enjoying a lot of cookie cake and it's really good actually i had some crumbs of it uh the other day so over the past couple of weeks we're probably gonna be gaining a few pounds just from it's really cookie unfortunate cake right before the holidays yep because you know thanksgiving's coming up <laughs> and we don't really need this in our life right now so today wasn't all bad news financially because we found out today that we got approved for another house so we're going to be buying a house down in destin florida we've always wanted a beach house and so this is the perfect opportunity we thought to get into airbnb so we're going to airbnb it throughout the year and then anytime we want to go down there it would be a great place to stay so i'm going to be flying down there I guess maybe either next week or weeks to come uh, if we find some houses down there so I'm hoping that we're gonna be buying one here in the next like month to even two months it really depends on what the market has because right now there's not much out there for sale but we're looking forward to having a new beach house so now it's nine o'clock Kenley went to bed about an hour ago now it's Brady's bedtime so of course we got to get him to end the video before he goes to bed so guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give the video a thumbs up be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys. Peace. An air being a bee. An air being. An air being a. What? Air. An air being b Right? Renting them out. An air being a bee. An air being a bee. Peace. 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 Peace.